Does a weightlifting belt make you faster in BMX? Let's try it out. To start with this video, I'd like to officially announce that I have been selected to ride for Team USA at the upcoming World Championships. The Worlds are taking place in the Netherlands this August, and I will be racing the Junior Elite Men class there. So with that being said, I'd also like to announce that I am selling limited edition 2021 World shirts for $20. These shirts have my logo on the front with an American flag as the background, as well as a design on the back. These shirts will be sold from now until I leave for Worlds in August, so if you want one, make sure you get one quick. To get one, you can DM me on Instagram, at DrewPolkBMX, or you can email me. My email is drewpolkbmx2 at gmail.com. So send me a message and we'll get one sent over to you. If you aren't a fan of this design, we'll be selling a lot more merch afterwards, but now is the only time you can buy these shirts. And once I leave for Worlds, we won't be selling them anymore. So if you want one, get one soon. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So for those of you that don't know what a lifting belt is, they're widely used in weightlifting and they protect your lower back and support the core and can even help you lift more weight. So my question was, since you can lift more weight with a lifting belt, can you go faster on a BMX bike? So that's what we're gonna test today. So I have my gate set up here and I have timer set up 60 feet away and I'm gonna do five gates without a lifting belt and then five gates with a lifting belt and then we're gonna compare the times and see which one's faster. So I'm gonna do all five of my gates without the belt first, then I don't have to worry about switching back and forth and anything messing up the time. So we're gonna do all five right now and then we'll switch over to the belt. Gate number one, no belt on. Okay riders, random start. Riders ready, watch the gate. All right, everyone, so here's the first time, 3.195. Attention. Okay, riders, random start. Riders ready, watch the gate. So that last gate was a 3.188, a little bit faster. Let's see what we can do next time. Okay, riders, random start. Riders ready, watch the gate. All right, so that last one was a 3.186, which is only two thousandths faster than the last one, so that means I'm pretty consistent. Fourth one, here we go. Attention. Okay, riders, random start. Riders ready, watch the gate. So the fourth one was a 3.182. Once again, it was only four thousandths faster, so still really consistent. So let's move on to the last one. Attention. Last one. Okay, riders, random start. Riders ready, watch the gate. All right, so my last one was a really good one. I got a 3.162, which is actually one of my best ones ever. All right, so I did all five gates without the belt, so now I'm gonna put the belt on and do five more. I've worn lifting belts before and they haven't felt that weird, but wearing it on a bike feels like the weirdest thing. It's crazy. All right, first gate with the lifting belt on. Let's see how this goes. It already feels weird. Let's go see what the time is. All right, so first gate done with the belt, and I got a 3.178, so it's slower than my fastest one, but it's faster than most of the other ones. I'll be interested to see how the rest of them go. Attention. All right, gate number two. Okay, riders, random start. Riders ready, watch the gate.
All right, so the second one was a little slower. Got a 3.196. Gate number three with the belt. Okay, riders, random start. Riders ready, watch the gate. Watch the gate. So that was a 3.202. Pretty sure that's the worst one of the day. So looks like the belt's not doing too hot right now. I'll tell you one thing. This belt makes me so hot. I was not dying of heat this bad without the belt. So that one was a 3.190. Back in the one tenths. We have one left to do, so let's go see how that goes. Final gate with the belt on. See if we can get a good time. Attention. I'm taking this belt off. The last one was a 3.216. So obviously the belt didn't win. It had one good time, but the rest of them were slower. But I'm gonna calculate the averages and I'll be right back with you. All right, so all 10 gates are done and the average for no belt is 3.1826 and the average with a belt is 3.1964. So that's 100 slower. The fastest time without a belt was 3.162 and the fastest time with a belt was 3.178. So that's also 100 slower with a belt. All right, everybody, that's the end of this test. Looking at the times, it's definitely slower to use a weightlifting belt. It's not by a lot, but it's definitely slower. So personally, I'm gonna continue riding without a lifting belt. Once again, if you want one of these shirts and you wanna support me on my trip to the World Championships this year, it's $20. Make sure you DM me or email me and we'll get everything figured out. Also, in case you couldn't tell, we had a bunch of different camera angles and there was really good quality for this video because my good buddy Chase helped me film this. You can follow him on Instagram right here at Visuals by Chase. So that's it for this video. If you want me to try the lifting belt on a track, make sure you comment down below and let me know. But that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you all in the next one.